What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die single player Let's Play. This is episode 15. And as you can see right here, I have begun laying the construction groundwork uh, for the Cage's Keep. Um, I've also been crafting a lot of stuff and breaking up a lot of stuff, just doing a bunch of a bunch of things here. Um, we're going to just get to work on Cage's Keep and see what we can do, and... Uh, yeah. So one thing, the one thing is, you don't upgrade these blocks by putting cobblestones in them anymore. You upgrade them with the repair tool, using cobblestones, as you can see right here. And it takes 16 cobblestones per block, which you know is it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, we're we're committed to cobblestone now, so we're gonna we're gonna continue using cobblestone. Oh, about the quality Joe perk. People keep telling me about the quality Joe perk that um, they are having no problems with it, and from what I understand. If you spend all 60 points or 50 points in Quality Joe Perk all at once, it does stick. Now, that has me worried. I don't want to waste 60 points in Quality Joe if it's not going to stick. But I think I'm going to save up 60 points and put them all in the Quality Joe. Uh, so that's why I'm not going to be spending points, if you were wondering during the game, why I'm not spending points. Um, another thing you guys wanted me to talk about was... Oh, someone said Alpha 13, uh, Alpha 13.2 patch update notes said that uh, water blocks, voxels, six plus down will not reduce or prevent loss of large bodies of water. So in other words, um, water can be, uh, water in the game, so, uh, from what I get, water in the game can be finite, but six blocks down, those kind of big lakes will not be finite, which is, which is fine. I'm, that's pretty cool. Uh, we're probably gonna need some more cobblestone, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, so what do we need for cobblestone? We need uh, whatever we need. We have lots of it. Let's go make it. Um, as a matter of fact, why don't you? Nah, whatever. Whatever. Let's just uh, let's get this gun done. There's going to be no doors on the bottom floor, so we could just go ahead and make all of this up right now. Um, okay, so here's the big thing: the bunker. Uh, you guys in the comments went nuts and wanted me to live in the bunker. You know, I have, I have a feeling that whatever I do in the game, the people in the comments are usually going to tell me to do something else, uh, just to disagree with me. But <laughs> the bunkers are a really cool place to live, and I am actually going to use it, uh, just not right now. Um, basically, a lot of you guys told me to stay in the bunker. It's awesome. And you told me, well, you should stay in the bunker because it's not, you're not invulnerable. Uh, the whore, 14th horde is going to tear itself down through the roof and kill you. And I was like, well, then why would I want to stay in the bunker? <laughs> you know? Um, so yeah, I'm not going to stay in the bunker because the, the point of the bunker is, um, defense. And the fact of the matter is, uh, from what I understand, um, people who live in the bunker can just get, uh, broken into and destroyed. You have nowhere to run. So... That's the problem with the bunker. Uh, Pam, my buddy Pam was watching someone uh, play on stream and he was using the bunker uh, as a defensive thing. And um, yeah, he was, I have no, oh yeah, I do have some metal on me. Okay. Let's go ahead and whatever, that's, that's enough time right there. We need more cobblestone rocks. So let's go ahead and start putting down spikes. We need spikes too. We need a lot of stuff. Um, I'm going to leave one side with no spikes just so I can get on here without issue. So yeah, so the fact of the matter is you guys said, yeah, go live in the bunker. And then in the same breath, you told me the bunker is a death trap. Uh, so what I'm going to do is some of you guys uh, suggested this and I'm going to go along with it. Um, build the bunker up, like build a base over the bunker. And I think that's a really good idea. And I'm going to do that. Um, let me think how this works. Yeah, that, that goes like that. There we go. So I'm going to basically go down to the bunker and I'm going to... Do I have wood for this? I do not. Let's cut down some trees. We do need a fire axe. So let's get a fire axe and let's cut down some trees. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to live in the house uh, as a regular residence. That's where I'm going to live. And I am going to... I'm going to live in the cages keep for the seven day hordes. Once I've gotten myself situated and I've got, and I've got myself, you know, basically just, you know, at a point where I feel comfortable, then I'm going to build a mega base over the bunker and use the bunker as my permanent base in all forms. So, you know, that way if the bunker doesn't hold up, you know, it won't matter because it's not my, the bunker is basically going to be kind of like what I built last season. Remember that big, like that big mine sh thing going down to the mines? Uh, I'm going to do something like that. And I'm going to dig, I'm going to dig even deeper underneath the bunker, um, way deep. So the only thing is because of structural integrity, I got to make sure I don't build walls around the, I got to build walls around the bunker, but around far enough around so they don't, they don't mess with structural integrity. So 
that's what I'm going to do with the bunker. By the way, guys, the giveaway is over. I have given away the copy of Seven Days to Die. Um, I got to go back on that video and type and change the title uh, so people know the giveaway is over. But, uh, yeah, so that's the idea. Um, I don't know if this is going to be ready for the 14-day horde. I don't think it will be. Um, if it's not, I will stay in the garage to the north. Um, I'm gonna stay under. I'm gonna stay underground for two nights, and uh, that's my plans. Now, a lot of you guys, I've been wondering about the uh, world gen, uh, about the um, about the towns in the game, because you can see in this world, like I mean, I guess I haven't explored that much, but I've explored a good amount here, and there's no real towns. This is not a real town. I'm sorry, two buildings is not a real town. Um, two buildings, technically three, is not a real town. Uh, I have not found a real town yet. Um, so a lot of you guys have been saying you have been finding real towns. So uh, what I what I did was on stream yesterday, I actually gave uh, people on stream the info for my seed. By the way, seeds don't work anymore. If you're asking for what the seed is, don't bother. It doesn't work. Um, just a little bit of a heads up there. All right, hold on one second. Let's um, go here, make another fire axe, and scrap this fire axe. And after that, we will make more woodlock spikes or more cobblestones man we're gonna need a lot of cobblestones uh let's do the cobblestones cobblestones favorite it there we go all of them craft and now wood spikes are right here and there's a bear over there i only make wood spikes six at a time now because they take so long and i usually end up having to cancel them anyway there's a bear. Is that a zombie bear? I can't tell. It doesn't... I'm not really sure what zombie bears look like, but I've been told if you see one, you'll know it. So, oh, can't let a chicken get away. Cannot let a chicken get away. We need feathers. Lots of them. We had a 14-day horde yesterday on my Patreon server during the stream. And um, actually, it was the 21-day horde. Sorry, not the 14-day horde. 21 day horde and um you know those feral zombies i might just not i might run away from them because they take like i i don't even know but that that the feral zombies i was fighting they took multiple hundreds of arrows it was insane i don't think it's worth the time or the effort to kill them to be honest and uh yeah they they drop some stuff here and there but they're it's not great stuff usually usually they just drop like uh you know usually they by the way that chest is not empty anymore so we need to mark that chest is not empty. So anytime we mark a chest is not empty, we just go to the chest and we remove the waypoint and then we make a new one. Save the waypoint as chest. And then that way I'll know it's not empty. I should probably throw some more stuff in here. I don't want to throw anything too important in there though. All right, that's good enough. Yeah, I'm worried about that bear. If he starts, oh, he's wandering over here. I might have to take on the bear. I don't think I have enough arrows. Well, let's make let's make some more arrows then. Well, we can't make arrows because we got this stuff in the way. Well, let's set up some arrows. By the way, you can click on this. Let's make uh, 25 arrows. And we're going to have to wait now. That bear, hmm. keep an eye on him. What we'll do is we'll get some more wood while we're waiting. Oh, you know another thing they did? They, they, they messed with the... Um, they actually messed with the repair tool order um remember how the claw hammer was the best repair tool it's not the best repair tool anymore the wrench is now the best repair tool and i don't like that change and i'll tell you why um i like the fact that the th that the wrench is good because it takes cars apart and i like the fact that this claw hammer is the best repair tool um now you don't need a claw hammer for anything the wrench is the best repair tool and it's good for taking cars apart and a lot of other things actually um so I don't like that change. It kind of makes the claw hammer useless. And I was, uh, I was very disappointed in that. I mean, the claw hammer is a piece of crap. Unless you've happened to find the claw hammer book and not the wrench book. I guess that's something. But I don't know. I really didn't like that change much. All right. So let's see how we're doing here. We're, doing, we're starting to make better axes. Um, so that's good. Let's go ahead and finish this tree off. I'm gonna actually give the blunderbuss another shot because uh, some people are telling me some ways to make the blunderbuss better. Like, um, someone told me if you make blunderbuss ammo, that will up your gunsmithing skill. So that's pretty cool. And um, some people told me, one guy told me he fought off an entire, you know, 
14 day horde with the blunderbuss I, that sounds a little bit much like i don't know i don't know if i believe that really but i mean crap it's it's, it's worth a try you know um thing is i don't want to waste ammo on the blunderbuss and try to make it better and then you know it still sucks um and another thing like a lot of people say well you got to get the blunderbuss up to a certain level and then that's where it gets better but that's not really a fix because if you're if you're waiting that long to get that level up you probably already have a shotgun or something better by then honestly what i want is a sh i want a shotgun we got to do some more exploring that's why i want to get that quality joe perk i'll tell you right now if, um the quality joe perk i think takes 50 skill points to upgrade to, to rank three if i upgrade that to rank three and then i relog and i lose it i'm gonna lose my effing mind because i don't think there's ways to get those points back not even in dm mode so i'm kind of nervous about it but a lot of people have told me that the quality joe perk has been fixed so you know i'll give it a shot i'll give it a shot Or maybe I won't. <laughs> because finding a really high level tool isn't really that... Well, if I find a high level gun, that's that's really good, I guess. Finding high level tools really isn't that great because... Um, you know, you find them and then you got you repair them and then they just get worse. Crap, we gotta head in for the night. What the hell am I thinking? Alright, let's head in for the night. Do I have room? Yeah, let's try and empty this chest. Yeah, I don't know about the quality Joe perk, guys. I really don't want to lose 50 points in it. I know a lot of you guys have had no issues with it, and I know they've, like, patched and said it's... I think they might have even said it's fixed. I really don't know, but... I I'm going to wait. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait, because I'm going to use it... I'm going to use it on stream today. I'm going to get 60 points. I'm going to put it in quality Joe, and if it sticks, um, then I'll... Yeah, that's, that's actually what I'll do, because I'm going to play the Patreon server today. And what I'll do is I will... Um, on my on my multiplayer Patreon world, I'll save up the 60 points. I think I'm pretty close to it already. And then at that point, I will uh, just put all the points into it, and then I'll log out and log back in and see if it works. If it works, and I tested it and it worked, then I'll use it on the single-player world. By the way, it's kind of funny. I call this a single-player world. I don't know why, but I actually started it as a multiplayer world. Pretty stupid. I don't know why I did that, but... You know, we still got some time. Let's Let's cut down some more trees. Some of my viewers get very upset when I go in too early. Oh, by the way, another thing I'm going to do is... Actually, I should have done it today. I completely forgot. Um, I'm going to change the game time uh, to be longer days because uh, I just don't feel like I'm getting enough done during the day. And, you know, I feel like staying underground at night is just, you know... I don't know. I feel like... I don't feel like I'm getting enough stuff done. So I'm going to change the, uh, the day time to make it a little bit longer. Give me a couple extra hours I can get out. Like, I think it's like two hours difference. I can get out a little bit earlier. Out of, out of, you know, being underground. Alright, blade weapons is going through the roof! Going through the roof! Alright, let's wait for some stamina. Um, you know what, we should probably plant these trees. Getting saplings is a lot more rare now. So, I don't want to throw them away. Usually I throw saplings away because they're just, they're just clogging up my inventory. But, uh, they're, they're a lot more rare now, so I should, you know, I should pay attention and not... You know, possibly not just throw them away. Um, okay, so what am I going to do tonight? Actually, I should be crafting stuff at all times. If I'm not crafting stuff at all times, I am wasting my time. Uh, okay, so that's good. So uh, what, do we, what do we need next? What do we need next? We probably need more spikes. We also need cobblestone, but I think we need spikes more. So I don't, like I said, I don't make the spikes more than six at a time. Although, I guess it doesn't really matter. I could just cancel them. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter because you could just cancel it. It's irrelevant. How many you make at a time. Like, this isn't going to finish anyway. I'm going to cancel that because I need to craft something else. Eventually. So. Eh, it's pointless. Man, my guy's really hungry. I need to get him to grind and get some food. I need to chow. Chow down. All right. I've been seeing a lot of people talking about how this game's grindy and stuff. Um, if, you, if you're watching this video and you think this game's grindy, just stick with it. Because I'm telling you, as you start leveling stuff up, if you do stuff right, um, the grind starts really sliding away. I've wasted points in this game. I've wasted time. Um, I've made a lot of mistakes. And on day 13, the grind is starting to go away. It doesn't feel so grindy anymore. Also, a lot of people have problems with when they, like, uh, early game because the doors are too hard to get through. Like, they'll walk up to a house and they'll be like, 
you know, I watched some YouTubers do this. Um, I actually watched Paul Source Jr. do this, and uh, he walks up to a house, and he um, he starts breaking down the door, and he's like, well, this is going to take forever. And he's right. If he tries to break down the door, it will take forever, and it sucks. But, like, people, like, I'm not going to condemn people for not thinking about this, because, you know, it's not something you really think about. But try thinking outside the box. You know, breaking through the window. I do it all the time. I do it all the time. I break into houses through the window constantly. It's very easy to do. So, uh, guys, if you're having problems getting through doors early game, uh, just go ahead and break through the windows. Make a couple, make a couple uh, wood frames, stack them up, get to the window, and just break in. It's easy. There's like usually windows are boarded up, which the boarded up windows are a pain in the butt to get through as well. But there's always windows that aren't boarded up. There's always windows that aren't boarded up. So those are the ones you need to look for. All right, so here we are, almost down to our base. There we go. All right, food, where are you? Uh, do we need to cook more? Yeah, we probably should cook more anyway. Let's get some more food cooking before we do anything else. Now, charred meat. Char oh, that's another thing I'd like to see in the game. They add. Um, I'd like to see what I'd like to be able to inspect items before I make them. You know. So, charred meat has 15 fullness. The negative hydration is probably a bad thing. Uh, so, let's see what other kinds of... Ooh, do we have any eggs? Do we, oh, God. I don't like this inventory because it's too big. It's too big. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. Like, I mean, I put everything in here, and then, like, it's just a big cluster F of stuff. Um, so, what... Oh God, what am I looking for? Okay, so eggs. So, there's the eggs. Are there any other eggs? I don't see any at a glance. We need to break up some of these. So I really need to organize some inventory. I'm going to do that off camera. Someone said I had a pistol receiver in here. Pistol receiver. That's the... Yeah. I don't see it. You guys see it? Am I missing it? That's the part I'm missing, right? Actually, I can see what I'm missing from here. Yeah, I mean, I don't see a pistol receiver. Yeah. You must have been mistaken about the pistol receiver. Anyway, um, yeah, so is that all the eggs I have? It probably is. Let's make some bacon and eggs. There we go. Can't make that many, but we'll make some. They really nerfed the eggs in the, uh, they really nerfed the amount of eggs you get from the bird's nest, but I understand why, because if they put it, you know, if you get too many eggs, then you'll just have bacon and eggs, like, coming out of your ears, and that would be, that would be overpowered. Um, so we're gonna hold on to those maple seeds, because I do want to plant them when I go back up top. Uh, what did I come in here for? Gunpowder. Or, no, I'm sorry, lumps of coal. There we go. I always cook with lumps of coal. Okay. Uh, bacon and eggs. Four. We're going to need a couple minutes. Wait, I don't have a grill. I guess bacon and eggs is made in the cooking pot now. Um, 220. That's too much time, but who cares? And we'll let that cook up, and I will chow down on some charred meat. Whoop. Wait, why can't I eat anymore? That's weird. I'm not hungry? Sure I am. Starving. Come on. Kill me. Okay. Um, apparently you do need a cooking pot for the bacon and eggs. Um, I forgot the bacon and eggs will show up here, but it's grayed out. The reason it's grayed out is because you do need a, um, a cooking grill. So, let's go ahead and make a cooking grill. Uh, what do we got here? What do we got? So, I don't see any... Well, whatever. We can just we could just use these. All right. So we need pipes, and let's make uh, make thirty of those. See, we're gonna cancel this now. Um, actually, we don't want to make thirty because it'll take forever. Um, well, we need. I think we need nine for a cooking grill. So let's make nine. All right. Um, I started putting my uh, scrap iron up here, trying to. I do my best to organize this inventory as best I can, but it's 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 not easy. Scrap that. Um, what can I put away? What can I put the mushroom away? There we go. All right. I would pause the video right now, but um, I want to make that cooking grill while you guys are here. I'm gonna put this stuff up here for now. That needs to be you know dealt with, but well, we could probably do it now. What were we crafting before? Oh yeah, we still need more of these wood wood spike things. Um, 
yeah, yeah, we need spike, spike, wood spike thingies more. Um, the other thing we're going to do is we are going to use... Oh, yeah, I didn't even talk to you guys about this. Okay, so there is... Someone told me that these wood spikes right here are bugged. And when they get down to the last point of durability, like when there's only one stick left, they never de they never get destroyed. So we're going to put that to the test. Let's um go right here. Let's make a bunch of these. Let's make uh, 25. And then we are also going to make barbed wire fences. Um, that's going to take forged iron. Let's make uh, 12 of those. There we go. And uh, do you have any... We, oh, God, you get more than one per yeah output. Does it tell you that you get more than one per output? Because that would be nice. All right. A rather ordinary short iron pipe can be crafted via recipes. Time. The amount craft favorite forged iron. It does not tell you you get two. That, that's It should tell you the output amount. Um, not that it really matters, but I'm glad I got more than... <laughs> I'm glad I got more than one. But, oh, God, we got to cancel these now. Damn it. That's right. It's easy enough to put them back in. Uh, what I do? Let's just do 25 of those. And I never... I never favorited this. There we go. Oh, another thing. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Uh, barbed wire fence 12 craft. And then when you guys are done, we need more spikes. How about another 12? There we go. You always want to keep this queue filled because this is time. This is time management right here. It's important. As a matter of fact, you kind of want to keep the forge going at all times as well. Um, like we need more forged iron. We need more clay. What we need is we need more clay. We need more clay bad. We should probably get some more clay tomorrow. Forged iron, why don't you give me... How many can we make? 68, let's make another 50. There we go. We need some more steel probably at some point, so let's make five more steel. As you can see right here, our steel pickaxe is starting to get a little low, so we will be making another one pretty, pretty soon. And anything else? I don't think so. Oh, by the way, you can now get the scrap iron and brass out of the forge um, by crafting it. So you can see right there, um, that way you can, you can empty out your forge. Thank God for that. Although I don't think you could do the same with clay. So, it's kind of a bummer. What are we making here? Yeah, we got some water being made, and now we have bacon and eggs. We can't make it because of the grill. Here's the grill. Make the bacon and eggs. Uh, one minute. There we go. Cook. No, 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 no. Oh, it's making all four. Okay, good. Just to make sure we have enough in there, we'll just put a couple more things of coal in there. Like I said, this time, even though this time says it says what it says, and this one says what this says, sometimes it'll be done, and you don't get what you wanted out of it. Do we have any more uh, goldenrod? Hmm. Did I really use all that goldenrod? I hate looking through this big of a chest because I feel like I'm missing stuff, you know. Yeah, I think we used all that goldenrod. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to hit the goldenrod farm tomorrow, for sure. We're getting very low on goldenrod. Get low on feathers too. So, yeah. Oh, do, wait, do I keep feathers in here? No, I don't. I'll probably keep feathers in here though. All right. Uh, I. Yes, this is a good time to pause it, so I will see you guys. In, uh, actually, you know what? We're almost at the end of the video. So, yeah. Tomorrow, we are going to be working on cages. Keep straight through. I'll probably spend a little bit of time in the morning getting some clay before I start recording. But uh, we're going to call this one here. That is going to be it for episode 15. I'll see you next time for episode 16. Till then, take it easy.